The world has woken up to the climate emergency. Consumers are changing behaviours for the better and governments are setting ambitious targets, like achieving net zero emissions of greenhouse gases like CO2. But to minimise greenhouse gases and keep global temperatures low enough, we need action. The solution? A shift towards new carriers of clean energy like hydrogen. It's high energy and when used as a fuel, extremely clean, only producing water, no carbon emissions. And it's not just part of the future, it's here today. It's decarbonising transport as we know it, replacing our vehicles' engines with hydrogen-powered fuel cells. It's acting as backup energy storage to support the electricity grid. It's helping produce ammonia for fertilisers and as a potential fuel for ships. It's powering industrial processes and helping make ingredients for products from makeup to margarine to sustainable aviation fuel. This simple energy molecule has many benefits, so we need more of it, produced in a way that limits CO2 creation. There are two ways to do this. CCS enabled hydrogen production, where CO2 emissions are separated off and removed so it can be used or stored underground and electrolytic or renewable hydrogen production, which uses electrolysis and energy from renewable sources to create carbon-neutral hydrogen. Through this flourishing hydrogen economy, we can solve some of the world's biggest challenges and catalyze the net zero transition. Learn more at mathe.com slash hydrogen.